welcome back to SA Live. Well, we're talking about superstitions on today's show. And black cats, well, they get a bit of a bad rep. And Sherry Durdak with the San Antonio Feral Cat Coalition is here to talk about cats that cross our paths here in San Antonio. Who do I have? You've got Bojangles there, and he's ready for a home. Hi, Bojangles. And he is, of course, a black cat, right? Yes. OK. Um, tell me a little bit about the Feral Cat Coalition and what you do for the strays here in the Alamo yes. City. And thank you for having us on. Uh, the San Antonio Feral Cat Coalition is an all-volunteer nonprofit organization dedicated to reducing the overpopulation of cats in the San Antonio area through TNR and rescue. And TNR is the best method proven to reduce outside cat numbers, which is why the city of San Antonio endorses that method. A lot of people don't realize that San Antonio has one of the largest outside cat populations in the country. And that is because due to our warm climate, the cats breed year round here. And we also have a high abandonment rate, uh, especially in the apartment complexes and mobile home communities. Um, people move away and leave their pets behind and their pets aren't fixed. So they start reproducing and spreading out from there. So that's why we call apartments uh, feral factories. Uh, so a lot of the cats that cross our paths are friendly strays, are kittens that were born from unfixed pets, and um, that's why we're going to help you uh, become, this is going to be a lucky Friday the 13th, because right. black cats are actually lucky. They're, they are lucky, okay? Mm -hmm. See, and that's something I didn't know about them. And Leah, you are holding who? This here is Mr. Ropers, and he's about four months old, and also looking for a forever home. And he has gorgeous yellow eyes, which really pop because of his black coat. And tell me a little bit about what folks don't know about black cats. Well, really black cats aren't any different than any other cat, but there's a lot of superstitions. Um, people think they're bad luck. They associate them with witchcraft. Um, but black cats, like other cats, are just sweet and friendly. Uh, they want a loving home, just like everybody else. And they come in a number of different breeds. So you can have a domestic short hair, just sort of your average black cat. You could have a smoky tabby black cat, which has very faint tabby stripes. Um, Bombays are a type of black cat that are particularly friendly and intelligent. So they're, they're just like other cats, really. And the thing is, is because of their color at shelters, what, what typically happens? Typically, black cats are the most underadopted and most frequently euthanized cats. People don't tend to pick them, they overlook them. So unfortunately, a lot of them languish in shelters or they end up euthanized. All right. Tell folks how they can adopt these guys. You can go to our website, sanantonioferalcats.org, or you can go to any of our adoption centers. We have three pet smart stores on the west side on 1604. We also have pet co stores on Vance Jackson and 410. I mean, Vance Jackson and De Zavala and San Pedro in 410 and in Stone Oak. All right. Thank you so much. For more information, of course, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.